Hello, thanks for watching Super 3 Boys Second Blunder Tutorial. This is part of a series of tutorials that I am making. You can go to nistic.com to download these tutorials and find answers to any of your questions. Let's begin. Let's start first by opening up Blender. This tutorial is aimed to teach you how to add and use the many pre-modeled shapes and objects that Blender has. In the previous tutorial, we made a man out of cubes. Now, let me make this here now again by going into front view. And remember, we can make objects smaller by hitting the S key and dragging inward, hitting Shift D to duplicate to make the legs, and remember the grab tool is automatically selected. Hit Shift D again. You can follow along if you'd like. Make it bigger by hitting the S key and dragging outward and I'll hit shift D again hit the S key drag inward make it smaller shift D drag it over to the other side shift D one more time to make the head now as you rem remember from the last tutorial we could hold down Alt and click our left mouse button to do a free rotate. I'm going to do this now. As you can see, it's a bunch of cubes. Now, Blender comes with many pre modeled shapes and objects, such as cubes, as you can see here. We have circles and UV spheres and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you that. Right now, let me go back into front view. Now that we're done with this man, let's go back to the default cube we saw when we opened Blender. I'm going to scroll to the top left corner, hit File, and you can see New. This goes back to the default cube and creates a new file. You can also see that you can hit Control X to do the same function. And you just click your left mouse button to say yes, you want to erase all. So here we have it, our default cube. Now that we're at our default cube, let's hit the S key, drag inward, and make the cube a little smaller. Now I'm going to show you a menu that we're going to use throughout the tutorial. It's the spacebar. You just hit spacebar and it opens this menu. You see add, edit, select, transform, object, view, render. We'll get into all of this. First we're just going to go to add. Now if I scroll over one, I see mesh and I see a bunch of shape names. Plane, cube, circle, UV sphere, icosphere, cylinder, tube, cone, grid, and monkey. Let's start first by clicking on plane with your left mouse button. This opens up a plane in the 3D space. By hitting alt, you can see that this plane is flat and right now it's in the middle of the cube so let's hit the G key like we learned earlier in the other tutorial and move this over a bit let's also size that down and we can move it back a little bit more towards the cube So 
So we have two objects now. Now if you see these little dots on the side of your plane, just hit tab. I'll explain more about that later. So let's go back to top view, which is by default selected. And you see this cursor, this red and white cursor right over here? That dictates where the objects are going to be placed. So let's left click our mouse button over more to the left here and add another object. Now, let's add some more objects to the 3D space. Hit spacebar again. Scroll over to mesh. Now, by default, when we open Blender, we already have a cube in there. So let's scroll down to a circle. And by default, it's say vertices 32. And if it doesn't say that, you can click the right arrow to make it bigger, or the left arrow to make it smaller. And we just want that set at 32. And hit OK. This creates a circle. You can make this smaller, like we did our plane and our cube. Let's see what this looks like by hitting the Alt key. As you can see, we have a little circle, cube, and a plane. Now we see those little, little yellow dots around the circle, so let's just hit tab. So now you can see this little ob those, those objects. Now move your cursor over here and click. Let's add another object. Hit spacebar, mesh. Oops. Keep on scrolling out. Ah, okay, I got it now. And scroll down to UV sphere. Click on that. It should say segments 32. Remember, you can, if it doesn't, just scroll up or down until you get segments 32. Hit OK. And rings 32. Make that 32 if it's not already. Then hit OK again. So now, we have this object, the sphere. It has those dots on it, so just hit tab on your keyboard. Scale it down like the rest of the objects. So right now, we have a plane, a cube, a circle, and a sphere. Now go back to top view and move your red and white cursor over here by just clicking your left mouse button. Let's add a couple more objects. Hit add, mesh, ecosphere, subdivisions, make it two if it's not already. Scroll over to OK. Now we have an ecosphere. Sort of